Hey guys, I'm Rob. This is Little Man Cave on the Prairie and today we went out and bought one of the ugliest 4x4s out there, the Suzuki X90. But we got it for 800 bucks. So this is another Suzuki. We just picked up a, an old friend of mine that I actually haven't talked to in 20 years and who was actually the guy who got me into Suzuki's and, and lighter rigs. I used to be all about the, uh, the bigger rigs and full size this and yada, yada, yada. And back when I liked mud, but uh, I got on into this Suzuki's and now I just can't seem to stop it with seat. <laughs> so this is essentially a tracker. It's um, it's got the 1.6. It's uh, you know it's it's got its own frame and everything like that. It's the exact same uh, wheelbase. It takes All smaller tires though than the tracker. Yes, it does. It, it takes a 195 for a stock tire instead of the 205, uh, 75 that the tracker usually has. Um, but it's not shaped the same. It's, uh, I don't know what they were thinking. Uh, <laughs> it's ugly. It's, it, it's so ugly, it's cute. Um, we do get a lot of like looks about like what is that and you know mostly questions. yeah and the women will come up and be like oh that's so cute <laughs> and most of the friends that i've shown uh like sending pictures or anything like that uh have either been really nice and said oh cool or what the hell is that <laughs> so you know it's just one of those things. Um, but it's not only us that think it's ugly, it's a lot of people. Um, it's like the rank the worst, other the ugliest car from like off-road magazine or something. Yeah, um, Motor Trend, I think it was. Motor Trend and- Jeremy Clarkson. Uh, and Top Gear. <laughs> does not like this thing. No. But, you know, I think that that was before people kind of found out what um, trackers and escudos and Viteras, like the, these little light units yeah, could do. they're capable. Yeah, they, they had the IFS, so like, it was, it was a little bit different to redo them, but over the years, there's, there's more stuff being done to them. Um, so, it's the same thing, it's just, it's just a different body. But there are so many cool things about an X90. First of all, the T-tops. T-tops. Like, that's awesome. That is completely awesome. It's like 90s awesome though. <laughs> yeah, it's like retro awesome though. Yeah, um, it's very, very tiny. It, it uh, takes up no room and with these small little tires, we actually have two 1575s so even these ones are a little bit big for it and uh, they rub a little bit so like yeah you, you know you're not gonna be slapping on 31s with no lift or anything like that you're also not gonna be breaking any land record speeds or anything because it just does not have any get up and go <laughs> yes this was actually my first time having an automatic and that means that you don't have the 513s in the diffs. And that really, I, I found made a difference. I was, you know, it's an automatic and I'm just not used to it, I guess. Like the, the power delivery or, or all of ours are, are standards, five speeds. So. Oh, except for the Viterra. But that's a 2.5, so that's a totally different power gain, right? So. These things were only made for three years. They were thought up. They didn't sell very well. I believe there was 7,200 um, sold, sold in the US. Or North America or something. Yeah, I can't find 
anything to do with like how many were sold in Canada. I'd like to, I'm curious to know how many of these things are still on the road. Cause <laughs> there's a, I think that they would be something that would be quickly forgotten, which makes it even cooler that we have one. Yeah, it's, um, it's definitely a rare car, truck car, four by we'll four. call it a crock. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of a crock, <laughs> but like it was made from the factory. Which, you know, I'm, I'm even without the power and <laughs> the ugliness and stuff like that, <laughs> I love it. Um, it's, why would people get one of these? Because they are fun. Um, yes. You know, when I'm whisking around these mountain lake roads, this is just fun. And, you know, like, as you can see, we're, we're actually on our driveway right now. And it's, you know, it's quite the, the bumpy ride. And, uh, oh. yeah. yeah, very bumpy for a driveway. And it's got mud and everything like that. It's kind of a goat trail. It doesn't really bog down or, or anything like that. So for like this little trail, it's fine. But uh, there's not much for clearance on this thing. It is a stalker. And uh, when it comes to my driveway, I have big kind of rocks that point out that I get worried about. Okay, now let's look over, why was it 800 bucks? Okay, so let's talk about body. This thing has some <laughs> rivets, which you know, give you extra, get out of my car. Give you extra traction because it's more weight pulling down, you see. So uh, as you can see, it's not the best body. Um, Lots of rust. Typical for, you know, Suzuki's of this age. The clear coat, as you can see, is coming off all over the place, including the hood, which is really coming off. You can tell that they had a bra on the front because that's not too, too bad. Got them uh, liquid, liquid cooled. Yeah, liquid cooled headlights. You know, just rust spots and stuff. There is no dings in it, so that I kind of like. Or maybe it's covered up with rivets. Yeah. You know? It could be, because when you come back here, wow, look at that. Like, that's gone underneath there. I don't know if there's a missing part there or if somebody just slapped something on there. We got the old screws holding pieces on. Yeah, this side isn't much better. Somebody tried to hide it with body fill and then tried to take it off with a, uh, I don't know, wire wheel or something it looks like. But uh, now, the interior, the interior is pretty good. Um, no cracks, you know, the seats are in great shape, especially for the year. Retro 90s style. Yes, it is just vomiting. <laughs> 90s colors and fashion. Hey, even if you wanted to get seat covers for it, the door panels have the beautiful 90s retro. Uh, it's got uh, 300,000 too, so that's kind of, that's a bit, you know, for one of these rigs. And then there's always, you know, the this, speed mirror. Yeah, it's so much speed that it just made it loose. Power. <laughs> and uh, if you look here, you can see some pretty cool art. Somebody decided to make art. Yeah, like drip paint art. So, like, there's a lot of sanding. Now, obviously, this, you know, is not going to be a, a restoring it by any stretch of the imagination. This is going to be cut up and something done to it. Missing this mirror. Oh yeah, missing this mirror. If anybody knows where to find X90 uh, rear view mirrors, that would be fantastic. Yeah, yeah. 
But you know, all in all, $800, it is a running and driving rig. And I think, you know, we're just gonna play with it. Maybe see if we can get some bigger tires on it. And uh, that's another thing I don't like is that approach angle. It's uh, like my tracker is probably, you know, about here. So maybe we'll do something with that too. But guys, that's it for today. Uh, just wanted to, you know, welcome this little Suzuki to the family. And uh, if you guys have any comments or anything like that um, of what we should do with it, cool things that you may, might want to see, uh, make sure you put them in the comments below. And uh, you guys have yourself a good weekend, and we'll catch you in that next one. Take care, guys.